Bonjour! Welcome to the 20 Minute Cooking School. I'm Claire Tansy. This is Claire Tansy's Kitchen. It's a total mess right now because busy day, busy recipe testing day. So we have many dirty dishes. Well, they're actually clean, many clean dishes. And much food all around. But today we're talking about canned salmon. So I hated canned salmon when I was little. Like, <laughs> couldn't even think about it. Uh, then I learned this trick about canned salmon and uh, kind of fell in love with it. Now, I'm still not eating it right out of the can, as many of you uh, mentioned that you are happy to do. Uh, but this recipe is a fantastic way of using one of these babies to make your dinner tonight or tomorrow night or some other night. Uh, up to you. Um, and I'm going to talk all about secrets and tips and tricks and all that stuff. But let us, let us get started. Uh, I'm completely like unprepared here. I got stuff all over the shiz bang, whiz bang. I got a board. Oh God, I knocked everything over. So, okay, canned salmon. Are you pro? Are you con? A lot of you have already voted. Um, so thank you. I feel like it was about 50-50. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cousin Mike. How are y'all? Ooh, it's quite bright today. I think I like that. Uh, some of you are pro, some of you are con. Loved reading all your responses yesterday. Noelle with the sweet pickles and the miracle whip. Uh, Aaron, who was like, oh my God, it's cat food. I can't possibly. You guys, I love it. Um, the thing about canned salmon, many things. First of all, it's affordable, right? So these are on sale this week, and so I got like five of them. Um, Second of all, it's fresh fish, well, it's fresh fish, that just sits in the pantry and waits until you're ready for it. So, you know, usually, I mean, certainly where I live, it's really hard to get good quality uh, fresh fish. So if you're looking to eat fish, at, you know, once a week, twice a week, seven times a week, however many times a week, this is like a total lifesaver. Also, like, sits in the pantry and then you're like, oh, crap, got nothing for dinner. And you're like, no problem, salmon cakes, because all the other stuff that we're going to put in this is just very pantry staple friendly. Okay, also wild, always wild. Uh, wild, wild, can you even see that? It's too bright, you can't even see how wild it is. Wild Pacific Red Salmon. Premium, source of omega-3s, certified sustainable MSC. I don't care about the brand, um, but uh, all canned salmon is wild. I can't remember why, it has something to do with the processing, but all canned salmon is wild salmon, which means first of all, well, oh my God, let's not get into the politics of salmon, okay? But I can just tell you that for sure, hey Janet, hey Michelle, uh, for sure canned salmon, which is wild salmon, is always gonna be higher in omega-3s because wild salmon, um, their diet is like all that omega-rich, omega-3 rich stuff like algae and little tiny fish and plankton and I'm not a marine biologist. So if there's a marine <laughs> biologist out there, um, tell me why there are so many great omega-3s. Like omega-6 is point one, omega-3s, a whole gram of omega-3s in here. Like that is massive. Um, okay, so that's all the good stuff. Affordable, versatile, divided, blah, blah, blah. let's talk about the bad stuff. Um, frankly, let's be honest here. Let's call a spade a spade. Canned salmon freaking stinks. Smells bad. Uh, I've always been a bit of a super smeller. Like I'm the kind of person who can smell like a <laughs> whiff of cigarette smoke. I'm gonna be, when Thomas is a teenager, he's not gonna get away with anything. But you know, like you're in a cab, you're like, somebody's been smoking in here. I don't care if it was six hours ago, I can still smell it. I can smell like cat pee and a carpet from years ago. I can smell a stanky dish towel, um, you know, like on the dishes that are already dry. I have a super smeller. So when I was a kid, my dad jokes that I would go, they would take me into the fish store with all of the rest of my family. And I would walk around Walden's fish store in Montreal with my nose plugged like this. Gang, I got over it. Put on my big girl pants and now I love canned salmon. Let's make this. This is awesome. This is one of the most popular recipes I've ever developed, which taught me that um, y'all either really love canned salmon or you find this is a great gateway recipe for canned salmon. So um, I'm going to start by... Here's the thing. I'm going to add a crap load of delicious flavors to this. You can keep it simple, but lemon and herbs and onion and... Um, Something else. Curry powder? Uh, can you go wrong? You could put that stuff in yogurt and it would still be delicious. Okay, so let's chop a little onion. Let's chop a little onion. Um, so I teach through this uh, Skype cooking school called The Chef and the Dish. And 
It's uh, it's basically like you Skype, it's like you buy a private cooking class with me. And there's a better camera angle than this because I do it on proper equipment and not on my phone as I'm doing right now. Um, and uh, it's really fun. And I teach Canadian cooking classes. Uh, like one of my most popular ones is a steak and puts in class. So you learn how to make a uh, pan seared steak. Do we do a ribeye? We make Montreal steak spice. Really delicious. And then uh, yeah, I make homemade puts in. I think I just got onion skin on the floor. Cannot stand it. Yeah, so I make homemade puts in, not with deep fried potatoes, but I make these um, amazing um, potato uh, French fries, oven fries. So I was teaching that class on when, uh, Saturday night this week and have you ever had this experience you're telling somebody you're explaining something to somebody and that could be how to change a tire or how to get like how to get to the uh to arena down the street and they're going uh-huh yeah uh-huh uh -huh. and they're giving you this vibe that oh yeah they already knew that you know like oh yeah 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 oh yeah 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 and so you kind of gloss over some of the details so I had that experience with these wonderful people I was teaching not this past weekend but the weekend before I think it was anyway I can't remember and um, um, this one lovely, lovely person, she was like, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, so we're just gonna chop this onion. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get this idea that she actually knows how to chop an onion really, really well, like no problem, great. I get people of all different levels uh, in my classes. And then, of course she didn't actually chop the onion right at all. And it was all over the place and it took forever to fix it. Anyway, gang, all that's to say, I learned my lesson. And if you ever want to learn how to chop an onion, you just give us a holler, all right? Because I think it's one of the great skills of uh, cooking. Now, speaking of chopping, if you are just joining me, oh, hey, Laura, you love salmon cakes. Well, you're going to love these, girl. They are so good. Um, so if you're just joining us, it is Claire Tansy's Kitchen. I'm Claire Tansy. This is my kitchen. A uh, bit of a mess today, and we are making crispy lemon salmon cakes. They could easily be called crispy curried salmon cakes. They could be called lemon and herb salmon cakes. I've called them by all these names. Uh, I developed these, originally developed these probably 15 years ago when I was working at President's Choice. That was the original time. I was like, oh, we should just shape salmon into cakes. Uh, and I've kind of been riffing on it ever since because it's really, really, really delicious and versatile. Okay, so here is parsley. Um, this happens to be Italian parsley. It really does not matter. Um, but I happen to have a huge bunch of Italian parsley in uh, the fridge. Sorry, Facebook is now offering up all this. Like, they're like, suddenly they're like, oh, we're giving, going to show you the pictures of people who are watching. Hi, that's exciting. Uh, so I'm doing parsley. This is also wonderful with dill, cilantro, mint, not so much. Cooked mint, not as good. Uh, but certainly parsley, cilantro, dill, mixture of that combination. What else? What are other herbs? Thyme. I don't love thyme with salmon. Sage. No, no, no. Oh, what are the other? Basil. Basil would be good if you had some good stuff. But what I'm going to do is just chop up this um, nice big pile of parsley. Oh, it's a very satisfying task, parsley. Parsley chopping. Now, I have tried to feed these to Thomas, who is now six years old, um, without success. But you know what? I am not worried. Um, he doesn't like fish. I didn't like fish until I was in my 20s, so, you know, I'm not really that worried. Actually, that's not true. I like fish and chips, and I like fish sticks, but I didn't actually like, you know, like fish, like a hunk of fish until I was in my 20s. And I still blame the fact of my super sensitive nose. And Thomas has, if it's possible, Thomas has an even more sensitive nose than I do. I think I've talked about this before. He can smell, like he could smell, um... Like my dad had borrowed one of Michael's ties once because dad was here and he had to go to a meeting downtown all of a sudden. And, and then like months later or weeks later, Thomas smelled the tie because he insisted on wearing it one day. Um, and he said it smelled like Papa. It smelled like his grandpa. Like uh, super crazy strong smelling nose. That aside, let's go. So all, all that's to say you may not have success feeding these to your children, but your children maybe also have better palates than mine, or maybe easier going than mine. Zest of one entire lemon, and 
You're seeing this in action here. One of, of course, my favorite kitchen tools, my microplane. Zester, worth its weight in gold. Do not go for any cheap originals. Do not go, or cheap knockoffs, I should say. Do not buy any different designs. Um, this is the one and only design that you ever need. It is the best. I love this thing. Does everybody have one? I love it. Oh, it smells delicious. I mean, I use this for everything from zesting to parmesan to chocolate, nutmeg. What else? Okay, I told you curry powder. And, you know, don't ever think that curry powder is just for curry. <laughs> because although it is for curry, um, it's actually such a... Um, it's such an easy, it's just such a nice spice. It goes with everything. You know how nicely it is? How nice it goes in like egg salad or, you know, like deviled eggs or something like that. This is just straight up mild curry powder. And uh, I mean, I go through this stuff like salt almost. It's really, really good. So look at this. It's already looking quite beautiful. Parsley, lemon zest, curry powder, onion, uh, panko. I forget how much panko goes into this. Let's go with two thirds of a cup. I will find the recipe and post it. Um, you can't really go wrong. Um, so panko, uh, if you don't know what panko is, just give us a sh shout. Uh, with their, it's really good though. And you should always have panko on hand. You can also use plain breadcrumbs. You could also use mashed potatoes if you had leftover mashed potatoes. Oh, an egg. I need an egg. A single egg. So we are making crispy lemon salmon cakes. And it is 4.12, we have eight minutes left. We are gonna make these babies. I would serve this three quarters of a cup of panko. Janet, do you have my recipe already? Tell me, is it really three quarters of a cup? Because that would be very helpful to know. I've just put in two thirds of a cup. I don't know if that's just an educated guess or what. So uh, one egg, one can of salmon, one egg. You can, of course, you can. Um, increase the volumes here and use two eggs and then just uh, two cans of salmon. Um, this makes, sorry, shh. This makes, you saved it the other day. I love you. So it's three quarters of a cup. That is three quarters of a cup of bag. Okay, thank you, Janet. Extra two tablespoons going in there. Um, yeah, this makes four, four little patties. I used to think that could serve four people. No. No, my friends, it serves two people and there's just no point in fighting it because you're going to want to have two um, each of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So um, what have I got in there? We're going to have a little bit, put a little bit of lemon juice in here as well. Tablespoon or so. That didn't sound good. That sounded like Thomas taking a pee on us. Sorry guys, things got a little bit salacious there for a second. Okay, so this is basically the the um the kind of the the mix. It just takes a little bit of milk. Janet, how much milk? Half a cup? Let's go with half a cup. I think half a cup. Milk, cream, whatever you have in the fridge. Uh, very forgiving. Could take whipping cream, could take skim milk, could take anything in between or any combination. Great way to use up, you know, if you've got a little bit of cream or a little bit of this and that left. So, you, you can almost smell, well wait till I open the can of tuna, of salmon, then we'll all be able to smell it. All right, so here is the like, melange of deliciousness. A little bit of salt in there as well. About a half of a teaspoon. And then since we're here, all right. Now, to the item at hand, the salmon. So who among you has fallen in love with salmon with its bones and skin in it? So that's what this is. This is bone, this is bone and skin salmon. It's got all of everything in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first gonna drain. Drain. Mm-hmm. I'm getting, obviously, I'm maturing in my old age because I can tell that it doesn't gross me out as much as it used to. Okay, so here we've got skin, and then we've got these crazy little bones here. So you can see that it's actually just like a spine of salmon. 
Do, do, do. Yep. Okay. No skin too slimy. Lori, listen. The skin is where all the good omegas are. And the bones are where all the calcium is. And I swear to God, and I would not, absolutely not steer you wrong on this, because speaking from a person who hated canned salmon until about a decade ago, um, I can tell you that you will not, you will not tell that they are in here. So let's do an extreme close-up here. I know, it's crazy. Uh, 416, I better turn the pan on. So, okay, extreme close-up. See, okay. These are so soft they're actually just going to mash down into nothing. So that bone is just going to break and get pulverized. And then what you're doing when you eat this is you're actually getting all of the calcium from the bones. And you're getting all of the omegas from the gray bits of the skin. And you're getting all the omegas from the fish. And it's yummy, I promise. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I feel like I maybe got a little eyelash in there. So you go through, this is important, you gotta do this separate freely from the rest of the bowl so you can really go through and destroy and mash up all of those little bits of bones. Uh, they truly, they get so soft in the processing that um, the bones get so soft in the, whoa! The bones get so soft in the processing that they really just disintegrate. Okay, we all went sideways there. Everybody, just take another shot of vodka. I'm gonna turn the pan on here. We're gonna start at about a medium high. And so then the, the salmon, that whole can of salmon, just goes in to the mix. Now you can buy boneless, skinless salmon. Uh, and if it completely iggles you out to have to deal with the skin and the bones, then for, by all means, just get the boneless skinless. It's still really high in omegas. It's still really good for you. It's still, uh, you know, affordable, and although it is more expensive. Um, so like, whereas a can of salmon is usually about three, four dollars, a can of boneless skinless can be five dollars or six dollars. Up to you guys. Everybody gets to make their own decisions. Okay, so this is nicely mixed up. Yes, I will post the recipe. And, oh, this is looking delicious. So, without burning my board here. All right, it is 418, we are doing this. Okay, pan, yeah, uh, non-stick, this isn't a non-stick pan, but it's close enough and it happens to be right here. Once it gets good and hot, a uh, nice little dose of canola oil in the bottom there. And then, did I add everything? Egg, breadcrumbs, milk, salmon. Those are the important things, salt. Everything else is just flavor. I, mean, I added all those things, didn't I? Okay, then, so this is gonna make four patties. My hands are clean, I swear, I promise mama, my hands are clean. Okay, then I just sort of flatten patty and then into the oil. You go there, another one. As I said, this is gonna make four. You could make them little minis as well. This can also be cooked in a loaf pan, but it takes a lot longer and it doesn't get as crispy. There we are, number two. Alrighty. Uh, guys, we are coming to the end of the 20 minute cooking school. I'm gonna fry these about two, two minutes per side and then just reduce the heat um, and finish cooking them until they're cooked through without getting burnt. Only flip them once. And as whenever you're frying anything, once they go in the pan, just leave them alone. Don't move them until they have a chance to cook enough so that they develop a crust on the bottom of the pan. Hey, hot news, if anybody's in Toronto, I am teaching a class on Friday night how to make your own homemade pasta. Um, I think there are a couple of, um, a couple of spaces still open in the class. It is in the West End of Toronto on the subway line. So if you'd like to join us, let me know. All right, let me just wash up these mitts. There we are. Have I ever told you how much I love my touch sensitive faucet? I love it. Nice, clean. Oh, I love it. Okay, it is 420, smoke them if you
you got them. That is the end of the 20 minute cooking school. We have made these beautiful crispy lemon salmon cakes. Um, I'm just going to, um, there they are. Hi darlings. Uh, so I'm going to cook those, like I said, for a couple minutes per side. I'm sorry, now my phone is falling off of its stand, so just come with me here. Here we go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to cook them for a couple minutes aside, and um, uh, they'll get nice and crispy on the outside and cook through. Remember that salmon is already cooked, so you don't have to worry about cooking the salmon. So all I'm doing is cooking the egg, which is going to bind it, and the, the milk and the breadcrumbs, which will all work together um, to connect everything. Serve this with a nice salad, a green vegetable, uh, some bread, some rice, a baked potato. Really tasty. Let's just give you a little top of it right here. They are looking really, really, really good. Bubbling away. One other thing. When it's time to flip them, and this is the same with like fried eggs, uh, any kind of patty like this, you kind of only get one chance. Um, and you have to do it with confidence. So you take your flipper, now, nothing bad's gonna happen, they're just gonna fall apart and not be as pretty. Take your flipper and you really like, <clears throat> just believe in yourself, you get under there in one fell swoop. Don't like try to go like, oh, I'm gonna just kinda maybe. No, believe in yourself, get right underneath that patty and then you can take it out of the pan and then carefully flop it over. This has been the 20 Minute Cooking School. It has been such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for all of your comments on salmon and uh, canned salmon. And as I said, I will post the recipe just as soon as I can. <laughs> as I can. Stay till Tuesday. Uh, try the veal. Um, next week, uh, ingredient month continues. And I was thinking I would do um, a vegetable that uh, maybe is a perplexing vegetable. So I'm going to see if I can get some artichokes because a lot of you asked if I could do artichokes. So if I can get artichokes, we'll do artichokes next week. If not, maybe like turnips or celery. Maybe just onions, you know, like how awesome onions can be if you do different things. To them. Anyway, gang, you let me know. You can always let me know in the comments. If you want to take my class on Friday, drop me an email or write me a comment and I can hook you up with the information. Um, that is all for now. We've gone three minutes over time. I'm terribly sorry. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy your canned salmon. And we'll see you next week on the 20 Minute Cooking School. Bye for now.